YouTubers and welcome to my video. Today we're going to be comparing two cameras. Not like for like, these two cameras are completely different. The first one is the Nikon F4S. In my opinion, one of the finest 35mm cameras ever made. Uh, used by journalists all over the world to take into war zones because it's made as much as a tank. Uh, to football matches, to all sporting events, golf. It was a wonderful conception in those days with this fantastic uh, tracking focus, the most amazing uh, matrix metering, a fantastic camera. And uh, every professional photographer worth his salt would probably have used one. Well, I think so, you know, being a Nikon fan. And I'm going to compare it against the Olympus Trip. A little 35mm points in shoot, built in light meter, no batteries, all driven by the sun. Um, you've got f-stops, but only if you're using the flash. The rest of the time you've just got um, to use it as it comes really. So there's no settings for it, you just point and shoot. It's a fabulous little camera. The reason I'm comparing this tiny little Olympus strip with that great big Nikon F4S is because in the day when these came out, there was an advert with the celebrity photographer of the day, I suppose this is the 1980s, the celebrity photographer of the day, David Bailey, who was world famous, known by everybody, advertising that you could use this instead of a big professional camera. As he said, you know, carry a big cart horse around when you can have one of these. Well, could it compare? Obviously, we're not talking about taking photos in the dark or down coal mines or into war zones. Well, maybe you could take it into a war zone. So anyway, what I've done is I've taken the two cameras. I'll be taking the two cameras out today. It's a lovely sunny day. It's autumn. The sun's low in the sky, so there's nice raking shadows. And we'll see how they compare against each other. Well, let's understand that the Olympus isn't going to be able to do what the professional camera does under strenuous circumstances. But going out, pointing and shooting, let's see how they compare. I suspect the pictures from this would be just as good as the pictures from the Nikon. I'll be using identical film, uh, black and white, and we'll see what it's like. We'll um, compare the two and see how it goes. Okay, well I've arrived and uh, I've got both the cameras with me. I've got the cart horse, Nikon FS 4S, which is, uh, like I said, the weight of a small car, but one heck of a camera. And we've got the Olympus Strip. He points and shoot. Light meter built into the uh, round lens, no batteries. It's the, uh, Light meat is driven by the light, solar powered. So you can't have uh, more eco friendly than this little camera. So now we're going to take some pictures and uh, compare the two.
perfect day for the surf. See the sun's low in the sky, it's autumn. Blue skies, perfect. Okay, well, that went very well. I've got all the pictures I wanted to do. I'll share them with you as soon as I've got the films debbed up. But that was two black and white films, identical, identical ISO, same make. What I've done is uh, put a 50 mil lens onto the uh, Nikon F4S. It's not exactly the same because the Olympus trips about 34, 35. But you should get a good idea of the comparisons. So let's see what we've got. Right, time to go home and to see what's what. It's been a beautiful day today. Although I love summer. There's certainly something to say about autumn the sun, low raking light. Okay, well you've seen the video. What do you think? I'm going to be honest, I think they compare very well indeed. Obviously we weren't into a war zone, it was just a day down at the seaside, uh, photographing some people in some cafes in the skate park. However, I thought that uh, the Olympus compared very well with the Nikon in such point and shoot circumstances and I think it uh, did very well indeed. What did you think? Well, you write in the comments below and let me know, tell me what your views are and uh, I look forward to seeing you for my next video. Goodness knows what I'm going to do at that one. 
I'll probably be discussing depth of field and what you can do with it. Do you need it? Is it important? But we'll see. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. If you like it, tick the like box. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Many thanks for watching.